It's Sunday and it's about noon, which means that it's time for Empowering You here on WSNC 90.5 FM. I'm Alvin Atkinson, your host, and it is my pleasure to welcome you to a program that is all about you. Empowering You is a communications pathway of information from local nonprofit organizations, corporate and community initiatives, and governmental agencies to equip you with the knowledge and resources to enable you to become the best you that you can be. Now that's a great goal for 2024. As we did in 2023, the guest for Empowering You on the fourth Sundays of each month is the Forsyth County Government. So today we are welcoming members from the government to our show. Our first guests are two young ladies that I just met today, Ms. Taylor Ford Gardner, who's the program supervisor for the Posse Public Health Program, and Ms. English Bonds, who's a public health educator with Posse. Good morning, or good afternoon, ladies. Good, good afternoon. afternoon. So glad to have you here to share information about a great program such as Posse, and I know Posse is an, an acronym. Um, uh, Taylor, so what does that mean, Posse? Well, thank you, Alvin, so much for having us this morning or this afternoon. Um, Posse stands for Preventing Ongoing Spread of STIs Everywhere. So we are an outreach program or the outreach program um, as an extension of our STI clinic within the Forsyth County Health Department. Um, that means we are in the community and are able to travel within Forsyth County to provide um, HIV and STI screenings for the community. Great. And I know that, you know, sometimes that's a, a disease that you don't really talk much about and it's sort of quiet and sort of kept a secret. But uh, the department, Posse, has been around for uh, a few years in our de In fact, how long has it been as a department? At least four or five years, I would think. Uh, uh, probably, let's say more than ten. More than ten. Wow. <laughs> let's say more than ten, 10. years. Yes, great, we've been great. we've been around for a very long time. Well, I know that 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 disease has been around for a long time. So right, I, right. We just have to have an outreach program to go out and communicate about that is is. I think a benefit for our community. Yeah. Um, now I know that you're here really to talk about a particular event that's coming up uh, on February 7th called National HIV AIDS Awareness Day. So what is that day? Who, what is that, when did that happen? Um, so it is um, an observance day that was um, wanted, we wanted to really um, highlight the disproportional impact of HIV and AIDS on the black community um, compared to other racial and ethnic groups. Um, even though there has been significant advancement in HIV research and treatment, um, the health system, health system still fails to um, adequately serve, inform, and treat um, black people and other minority groups. Um, and as a result, these injustices are um, can cause mistrust within the community and will really lower the possibility that black people will receive the necessary HIV care and treatment. Um, well, then, now, English, uh, I know you are a recent uh, member of, of Posse. What is your role uh, with the organization so in that department? I am a expanding testing coordinator. I go to jails, health centers, and rehab facilities like ARCA to go pick up specimen and also do testing and education with many of our inmates here within Forsyth County. Um, it varies between HIV and STI education and just getting that one little tiger tube of blood draw to see if they do have HIV, Hep C, or syphilis. Okay, so that means you all work pretty close together in mm -hmm. what you're trying to do. And, yes. and what is what is the importance um, of that National Awareness Day. How can, what what is going to happen here in Forsyth County on that day? So really on this day, um, 
it is especially important because it is a chance for all of us to come together and raise awareness around HIV AIDS and other prevention strategies to stop the spread of HIV in particular. Um, we, we possibly want to make sure we are connecting with the communities that we serve um, and work to lessen the burden of this disease in the black community in order to promote positive health behaviors and outcomes. Now, you are an outreach program, so you go out, as you said, uh, English, you go re rehab centers, just all different locations. Yes. Do you have any uh, special places that you can go to be tested? So for this day in particular, we will be at the Family Dollar store in the Northside Shopping Center. Um, the address is 3523A Patterson Avenue. Um, we'll be there from 1230 to 330, and there will be prep services, MPOX vaccinations, condoms, and STI screenings that we will be doing on our infamous blue mobile unit. So you have a blue mobile unit. Yes. Um, Taylor, tell us about that mobile unit. What, what goes on <laughs> in there? So in the mobile unit, uh, we have... Um, it's, it's small, but it is a space where we can not only um, talk to people in a more private and confidential area to discuss their sexual health and their concerns, as well as we can provide um, the, and conduct the testing in that area. So it is a clinical space in, just inside a more compact um, vehicle. And. So you, it actually goes a lot of places. You can take that <laughs> yeah. anywhere, yes. and, and you probably have been taking it uh, with you because you still have to have the kind of uh, quality assurance type uh, environment when you're taking doing the test. Do you do you also have uh, publications or information that you hand out during these events? Yes, we provide different health brochures and materials, um, as English stated, condoms. Um, services that you may need to be connected to with the health department, we can provide certain things like that. And, and how many individuals are in, in the Posse uh, department are with the program? Oh, wow. So we are currently a staff of, let's see. Uh, five. Five. Yeah, yeah. Five. We five. Have five individuals yes, who are do. supporting our county uh, in this particular uh, area yes. of preventing uh, STIs and HIV uh, and giving that information, as you said, um, particularly with, with the black community and the disproportionate uh, amount of uh, prevalence of that. And how, what else can, be, can you say or would you want to say to um, black or other minority communities about this, this illness and, and, and why it's important to be uh, aggressive or at least to address it straight up because I know that there's better medication, there's been all kinds of things that have happened since it's particularly uh, HIV AIDS has, has been around. So what can you communicate or tell uh, our fellow citizens to not let them be ashamed but to come and get this help that can save lives? Well, I just want to say we hope to see everybody there, as many people as we can on the 7th of February. HIV is a global illness that impacts everyone. And as a safe space, as Posse being a safe space, we think it's important for everyone to be aware of their sexual health status in order to make the best decisions as they go out into their, their homes and into the world. And, and as I said, with uh, I know I've seen all these commercials on television and they, they do have the uh, black actors and actresses who are talking about these different drugs. Uh, d would you be able to help give information about medication that is out there in to serve uh, those who may be infected? Yes, so to receive um, different tr treatments uh, for HIV and other STIs, uh, for those that may be affected or have contracted those, um, infections, we will refer them to our providers at the Forsyth County Public Health Department. Okay, so there's support beyond what Posse is doing the outreach within the, the county public health? Yes. 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 Our providers there are well equipped to provide the necessary treatment um, 
and provide the necessary affordable um, treatment and care for for those that have contracted HIV and other STIs. Okay, so uh, I know you all are are here, uh, young, Mm -hmm. uh, energetic uh, individuals, which is great to see that our county has has hired you all to uh, fulfill this uh, this role, this key activity. And again, we're talking about a really special day. So please just share again what uh, February 7th and, and how can anyone really come out and be a part of what's planned for that day? Well, you know, like we say, we just hope everybody can come and make it. Again, I'm just going to say we're going to be at that Family Dollar located in the Northside Shopping Center Plaza. The address, again, is 3523A Patterson Avenue. We'll be there from 1230 to 330. Even if we're, we're there, just be there. We want you to be there. We'll probably be there at 12, honestly, but we want you to be there. And you don't have to sign. You just can show up? No. No. Everything is free of cost. No registration. Um, it's free of cost. We will supply condoms, education material that may be helpful to you to share with uh, for yourself and for your families. Great, great. Well, I want to thank you for coming and putting that word out. Uh, is, is there anything else you just want to share to our audience? Um, no, we just thank you for having us today. Um, and we just want the community to also know that we are here. Uh, we are mobile. Um, any health events, neighborhood affairs that may be happening, please feel free to contact us at the Forsyth County Health Department um, if you would like for us to do more um personable or or, um, come to your location to provide HIV and SCI testing. So is there a phone number? uh, What's the number uh, for folks to call to get in contact with with you at Posse? So you can always contact us at this number, 336-703-3181. I'm going to say it again, 336-703-3181. You can call us anytime. Great. Once again, thank you, Taylor. Thank you, English, for coming and sharing information with us today here on Empowering You. Thank you. Thank you. Have a great day.